Hey everyone, I'm Kim Witte from Witte Artistry, and I am giving you my first ever Halloween tutorial, also known as Slit from Mad Max. If you haven't seen that movie, you have to see it. It is mind-blowingly awesome. It's so epic. There's so many intense moments. And if you don't like car chase scenes, explosions, post-apocalyptic societies, and great acting, you should at least watch it for the makeup, because it is just awesome. But anyway, witness me. Using third degree, you want to take equal parts of A and B in a separate container and mix them together. Do not cross contaminate the containers because you will ruin the product. Using a metal spatula, you want to apply the silicone mixture onto your face anywhere that slit has a scar, which is basically his whole face. Make sure you mix tiny batches so the silicone does not dry when you do not want it to. Apply the silicone with a spatula. Smooth out the edges to blend it into your skin. And then drag the spatula through the center to create the awesome scar. Now this is a scar. It's not symmetrical, it's not supposed to be perfect, so make sure you rough up the edges a bit. Carve out three little rectangles for slit staples. Once it's dry, powder it to reduce sheen. With a mixture of red and brown cream paint, fill in your scars. side. With a cream white, cover all of your exposed skin except your forehead. With a third degree, add two cuts on your shoulder. Smooth them out and carve them in. With the stipple sponge and black cream paint, basically just stipple everywhere and buff it out with your fingers. This will give the illusion that you are dirty. I mean, you are a war boy after all. With black eyeshadow, heavily outline your eye sockets and fill them in. Do the same thing to your forehead. Buff it out with your fingers. Using black cream paint, go over your eye area again. And smooth it out with your fingers. Smudge it anywhere you want some more dirt. Fill in your cuts on your shoulder with red cream paint. Making wrinkly faces. Use black cream paint to smudge out your eye sockets since you want to make the makeup look worn. Using a stipple sponge with red and black cream paint, you want to drag it over your knuckles and your elbows. This will give the illusion of road rash and scrapes. Make your nails dirty. With craft foam, cut out three perfect little rectangles. This might take a few tries. That will become your stitches. Apply them with liquid latex. Stick them into place. And it'll take about three to five minutes for it to dry completely. Using a dark brown cream paint, go on in the edges of the staples to add depth. Using red eyeshadow, go around the edges of the stitches and the scars to create an irritated effect. Using black, go on the edge of the staples to add depth. With silver, go over the edges of the staples. With 
mix up some more third degree to cover the staples to make sure they actually stay on and look like part of the face instead of just being stuck on. Dirty up some black fabric because he has a weird scarf thing he wears around his neck. Put black water activated paint in your hair. Don't worry, it comes out really well. Powder the remaining silicone on your face. Then using a metallic silver, go over the staples to make them look like metal. Witness me. Now you're done. Epic chase scenes make you pretty hungry. Cheers, mate.